Gilly, appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, two through the door on Monday. Tell us a little bit about those lads. Uh, yeah, obviously getting getting Troy in and Luke, um, two good signs for the club. I think it obviously really strengthens us, and uh, uh, there's obviously far more competition for places now, uh, and hopefully we can take that into the second half of the season. What exactly is it that, that the two bring to the team? We'll start with Luke Matteson. Uh, obviously, Luke burst onto the scene, didn't he, uh, up at Rochdale. Um, obviously, very energetic. Um, opportunity to give some competition at, at that right-back spot. Um, obviously, he's trained this week and uh, seems a great kid with a great attitude. So, obviously, looking forward to seeing him play at some point. Uh, and obviously, Troy, um, really, really good pedigree, obviously, coming from, come from Spurs. Lucky enough to have watched him a few times for, for Spurs 23s. Um, international pedigree as well so really looking forward to to having both of them with with the rest of the group yeah we had to sort of dip into that loan market and it, and it seems the general consensus from the club that was that was the only direction we could go really yeah and i don't think we're we're on our own with that either i think i think what's happened in the last 10 11 months has has really dictated to to all football clubs that that's probably the the dealings you're gonna have to to do during the windows and obviously taking a couple of loans um but yeah, they'll they'll strengthen us and and uh, and like I said, really looking forward to to having them part of the group. The salary cap has sort of changed the landscape of, of, of League One and League Two in particular, hasn't it? And how's it sort of been in this transfer window? Has that has that brought about some difficulties? Um, obviously, the salary salary cap added to to the current climate of the last 10, 11 months. It's, it has brought difficulties. Mm. Obviously, we're we're pretty maxed out on the on the salary cap. Um, so you have you have to be clever with with what you do in the in the transfer market. I feel that we've done that. So, um, cheers, Pullen. Uh, yeah, I, th I feel we've done that. So, I think that we've done the the best business we possibly could. A few of our younger lads have gone out on loan as well. Hopefully, a chance then to play first team football. And on deadline day was Brett McGavin. Yeah, really pleased with Brett. Obviously, um, made a few appearances for us this year yeah. and done great. Um, there's there's no one pathway for young players to get into a first team, and obviously dipped his toe in this year. Um, when called upon, um, trained, re trained really, really well this season. And I'm really pleased with Brett that he's now got an opportunity to go and perhaps be a regular in a, in a first team up in Scotland. Uh, and I'm sure we'll see the benefit of that when he comes back. How are we doing in terms of injuries, Gilly? Um, not much to report on. Uh, disappointing news around, around Kane. Um, had, a, had a bit of a setback, um, which I'm really, really devastated for the boy uh, in particular. Uh, for Kane himself, he's worked so hard. I think everyone that knows him knows that he's he's really got his head down, trying to work hard, trying to rehab. These these things do happen once you've been out a little while. You can pick up one or two other little niggles along the way. So um, knowing Kane, he'll just get on with it, get his head down, and and get back as quick as he as he can. Mm. So that obviously played a part in, in bringing Luke in and, and bolstering to that fullback position. Yeah, it did. Obviously, we wanted competition for places, and and that that setback for for Kane. Uh, maybe force the hand a little bit, but obviously Luke's come in and, uh, and will provide that competition for, for Chamber. Someone that we haven't spoken about for a couple of weeks, Keenan Bennett, how's he progressing? Uh, Keenan, Keenan's looking good, trained a few days this week. Um, Going to play some minutes in the 23s game today, yeah. um, which the staff will go down to and have a watch. So I think it's, uh, it's good to have him back in around it. He'll feel the benefit of playing games today. Um, a, a game today, so it's uh, it's another plus for us. And Ollie has his, has his um, tidy up operation on his knee. How's he progressing in, in his rehab? Yeah, Ollie's doing okay. Um, obviously had a, had a little clean out of, of that knee, yeah. um, and and will be uh, a few weeks away. But obviously progressing nicely, no setback so far. What are you um, expecting from Blackpool, Gilly? Because uh, did did a great job on them uh, up north in the reverse fixture, but they come here in, in a bit of form. Yeah, obviously off the back to back wins, yeah. um, they'll be. They play slightly differently to, to how they set up against us at their place. Um, changed their style a tad. Um, made two or three loan additions themselves. So they'll be a, a real, a real, real tough game. Tricky prospect. Um, strengthened quite, quite well with the, the signings they've made. Um, so it's a, it's a tough game, but one we're, we're really looking forward to. And just finally, looking at a few of the loan lads being involved, and in particular Josh Harrop because he's obviously recovered from COVID. Yeah, really pleased to have Josh back this week. Obviously, having signed and then uh, tested positive was um, was not great luck. But yeah. obviously, being back this week, uh, he's trained uh, two or three days, two or three days this week, and uh, obviously, really exciting to to get him back in involved.